Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, I want to show you how to make dumplings without suet in the air fryer. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. These, um, these dumplings came about because when we lived in Portugal, it cost a small fortune to buy the suet. And we lived in the countryside, we'd be having a stew and we'd be nowhere near the supermarket that sold them anyway. So we wanted a quick alternative. So these became our alternative and they're very similar to a scone mix, but they've had a few extra ingredients added in to make them uh, more suitable for stew and dumplings. And I remember at the time when I first made them, uh, speaking to my cousin, and she actually said to me, when I was asking her what um, the biscuits were like in the US, that uh, she just said, make scone mixture and replace the milk with buttermilk. And she was spot on. So if you live in America and you want uh, buttermilk biscuits, or if you live in the UK and you're looking for an alternative to the traditional dumplings, maybe because you want a vegetarian option, then these are perfect for you. Ingredients that are used to make this with are really, really simple. After all, scones is one of the first things you taught how to cook at school when you're little. So, you know, if you can do them when you're little, you can do them as a grown up. So you need flour, eggs, grated cheese, and some room temperature butter. As well as this, you will need a little bit of milk. And then for seasonings, we're using um, rosemary. We're using bouquet garni, which is like a French version of mixed herbs. So you could use any mixed herbs, or if you're in America, Italian seasoning would work well too, and some salt and pepper. And then back to the flour, I recommend that you use something like um, b row much better quality flour, and you'll be able to tell the difference when you're actually making your dumplings and tuck it in. So what you need to do to start with is add to your bowl the flour first, and your butter, and then I recommend adding in your seasoning at this point too. So good old salt and pepper and then also add in our other herbs so some rosemary I use rosemary because I often have rosemary in my stews and it just gives it a lovely stew type flavour and then of course the bouquet garni that I was talking about and then also gives a little bit of colour to your dumplings as well so once you've had your flour and your butter and your seasonings in, then you can start uh, mixing it all up. Uh, as they used to stay at school, rubbing the fat into the flour. My little boy, he's five, and he's been learning all about rubbing the fat into the flour at his baking class, and he absolutely loves doing it. I get so excited when he sees uh, the butter waiting for him when he goes to class. And as I'm recording this tonight, after I've finished recording and I've picked him up from school, he'll be going to baking class with his sister and they're going to be making cake. So I'm sure a similar method will be used for that as well. Fat's been rubbed into the flour. Flour feels lovely. So now you can start adding in other ingredients. So add in your grated cheese. And then you can add in your cracked eggs. One egg, two eggs. Oh, and it, this recipe is very easy to half it if you're feeding less people. I mean, I originally did it like this because I doubled uh, the ingredients because it was for the five of us. And when you want a good batch for a stew, it's just a perfect amount. So once you've got it all in there like that, you can 
Use your hands to mix the eggs through and then start mixing it up. Not quite a dough because we've not added the milk in yet, but I just wanted to make sure everything was nicely mixed before I did. So as you can see, it's like a, it's like a dry dough right now because it's not had the milk. Oh no, take that back actually, I have added the milk. It's been a long day, what can I say? The hubby's behind the camera smiling his head off, thinking I can't laugh on the, on camera, she'll, she'll look silly, but yeah, it's coming together now. And normally I get my son to fast forward with the videos if I feel like it's going on for ages, but this just comes together so nicely and so quick. So there's about another tablespoon of milk that's gone in now. And then as you can see, it's coming to perfect. Got some flour on the hands as well as on the mixture. Stop it sticking to you as much then. And that's all we do. So then, lose your bowl. A bit more flour on your worktop. And then what you can do now is you can split up your dough and start making it into dumplings. That's huge. <laughs> I'm gonna take that down again. My uh, my friends that both, both teach bakery classes, they would be telling me off right now and telling me that what I should be doing, but I'm too lazy, is to weigh out my entire dough and uh, then be able to get a weight of what each of them should be to make them of all equal sizes. So if you want them perfectly sized, then follow their rules. Just like you could also put this into a meatball press and it would bring them out perfectly. But I know most of us are just in a rush for dinner, so I don't think we all care that much for that. And oh, wow. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See, I never ever end up with a normal size. It's like the other video I did for air fry dumplings with suet. I ended up with five and now look at me here. Um, it's just weird, isn't it? Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. I suppose you could take some off some of the bigger ones and make 12 if you wanted to. But I just want to demonstrate just how easy it is to make a homemade a dumpling that you can then grab them now and throw them in your slow cooker and they can go directly in your stew. Or of course, we'll show you shortly how to air fry them once I've tidied up a bit. So we cleaned up and now we're ready to cook our dumplings in the air fryer. But like I say, you can cook them any other way. They don't have to be done in the air fryer. You can just follow this recipe for the homemade dumplings. So, your dumplings out of the way, your air fryer out. We're using the Philips Air Fryer Excel for this recipe, but we also have other air fryers. And if you head over to recipethis.com and search for dumplings without suet, the actual recipe for this is actually made using the Ninja Foodie. And we'd actually use this when we were making um, a vegetarian stew and dumplings. So if you are vegetarian and you get sick of the fact that um, suet always has beef in, then note that this recipe is just perfect for you. So we can only fit nine in at once because it's self-raising flour as well. So that means we've got two to put in somewhere later. And then let's get the air fryer basket in and get started. So you want to turn on your air fryer. You're looking for a temperature of 100, 160 Celsius, that's 320 Fahrenheit. And then you're looking for a cook time of 10 minutes and then we can check on them. And we've beeped. So I'm excited to test out the dumplings and see what they look. Are you ready? Um, wow, there you have it. Perfectly cooked air fried dumplings without suet. And like I say, they're a great plan B if you don't have the stuff or if you say you're vegetarian or you just don't like using box mixes, then it's just perfect. And as you can see, you can perfectly do nine in the air fryer at once. But of course, it depends on how many people you feed in. And of course, you could half cook them in the air fryer to get a, a good level of crisp to them and then place them in your stew. The choice is totally yours. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. 
We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 